Emily, it is now 620. There is a big event this weekend that will put beer made locally on display. It's a brew fest and Traveler's Rest is going to have plenty of beer and food to taste. Christine Scarpelli live this morning in TR telling us all about it. Last we saw you were actually brewing some of the beer. That's what's happening right now. So cool. Yeah, we're learning, you know, how it's kind of made, but it's a kind of a grainy substance goes in and then it comes through these pipes and kind of like an oatmeal sort of texture. And then in here it's turned into beer. I love this. This is fantastic. Andrew, the brewer we're talking to this morning at the Swamp Rabbit Brewery. Big event happening on Saturday. What do you need people to know? That's right. Yeah, Saturday we've got September Brew Fest, which we're going to have six local breweries outside. Local. They're going to be serving their beer. We'll be inside serving our beer. Um, ticketed uh, per beer, so you can buy your own samples. You don't have to pay an entry fee. Get in, yeah. And then another thing, uh, parking will be available at the church across the street. Oh, really? Um, they do have public parking. The Nexus Sunrift and Tandem, there's public parking over there. And then uh, there's an abandoned, well, not an abandoned, but um, there's nobody in those spaces right now, two exactly. doors down. So Because they're expecting hundreds for this festival. There's also food trucks coming this weekend. This is a great time to try local beer. And this is really something you guys emphasize. You're right here in the upstate, but there are a lot of local breweries in South Carolina that people might not know about, and it really is a new industry here. Right, and since we're a brew pub, we can't distribute. So everything that we sell has to be in-house. Right. And so in order for us to get our name out there, we bring people in to try and... Um, influence or to try and get new customers to try new beers and then they try ours and end up coming back so hence the uh, yeah the event this weekend and I know he says it's because of a lot of kind of older rules that mm -hmm. exist within our state but you know that's also an opportunity right to have people come in it is so neat in here you guys spend a lot of time decorating looking for again local things um, as far as this weekend goes it's a family-friendly event oh absolutely yeah we'll have tons of families out um, you don't have to be 21 to get in, but you have to be 21 to drink, obviously. Sure, and even pet friendly, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Very good. I know that's a big deal for many of us that have those pets. You guys were talking about a story about that before. Really neat. In fact, you guys are brewing right now for that event this weekend. So this well, this, yeah, this beer won't be ready for another month or month and a half, oh, but cool. we will have, this is our white ale. This is one of our most popular beers, so we will have plenty of that on tap for you guys. I love it. Andrew, thank you so much. This is so neat. Guys, we're going to hang out here this morning and tell you much more about that. W SPA.com also has some more information as well as what's your website? The SwampRabbitBrewery.com. Beautiful. Back to you. Very cool. Thank you, Christine. 622 now coming up.